All right, this is a Seiko Quartz Arnie, and this is fast motion, as you can see. And I'm just uh, taking it out, and I'm just going to put a new battery in it and see if it works. So the bezel seems to be moving, but not very well. So the back is pretty hard to get off. Uh, it looks like you can set the time on it, which is really great. Uh, so that's not a problem. So i got to get my Binford 5000 uh, case back remover, snug it in nicely there. And then I line up the, uh, the top and move that into place because that case back is on nice and tight so this just snugs it up with the uh, the dies on the bottom and then once I've got it aligned perfectly I got the big handle on the top with the two noses and then I can just loosen that up and then take it out of here and then grab a conventional case back remover now and I just use my fingernails and get it up and then I use my little fingernail to tip it up so it's got a metal plate it's a green sort of protector over the top and then another metal plate over that and there's the battery there so I've got to remove that little clip uh, there were fingerprints on the movement itself so someone was in there before which is not good so I'll clean those up later but for now I just want to get this thing working so take out the uh, two screws that uh, hold on the plate on the top for the uh, battery and then uh, take that off and then I got to look for this uh, 399 battery so I found the equivalent battery for the 399 cleaned it up in the inside a little bit um, and I've got this uh, Birgion, uh, this is a cool little thing that you use to scrape the ends and it's kind of a fiber thing and you just uh, use it to scrape. It's a Birgion 6240, so it's a scratch brush. And once I clean that up, blow it out, put the new battery in, and then uh, figure out how to put this plate back on or the battery retaining uh, uh, plate, a piece of metal, whatever you want to call it. Two screws, screw those in. Uh, make sure I don't my screwdriver doesn't slip. Whenever you're working on a watch, uh, you just gotta watch your screwdriver so you don't slip. You don't want to scratch the plates or anything. And again, I'm just trying to make sure that this uh, movement is still good. So I put the uh, it's a digital it's a quartz movement, but it has a, a digital display on the very top part of it, which is kind of cool. So um, just uh, it's got three jewels, the three jewel movement. Um, and it's old. It's like 1982, I think, is the date for that movement. So once I got that in nicely, uh, I just basically have to put silicone. I got some Seiko, uh, really nice silicone used for the... Uh, yeah, there we go. Just put that on there so when I put the case back on, um, it's going to be sealed nicely. So the O-ring looked like it was in very, very good condition. So there's no problem there at all. And I used the uh, watchmaker's putty to clean the case. Uh, just go around all the edges of the case, make sure there's nothing that can get inside the the movement and jam it up at all or gum it up at all. I also use my little uh, Bergeron, Bergeron scratch scratch brush to get rid of some uh, inconsistencies around the case back. Uh, clean it all up again, um, and then um, put the uh, this crazy metal protector on the top. And then I've got this uh, kind of a plastic uh, protector that goes on top of that. And then once I line that, uh, clean that up a bit, and once I line that case back up again, I could turn it and then using a conventional uh, uh, case back closer to close it up. But I didn't want to close it up solid. I just wanted to close it up so it's snug. And look at that, it works. I got, I got myself a ticking, uh, a ticking watch, which is kind of cool. Um, so I needed to uh, basically uh, put it to the right time. I have to have a Casio... Blue Angels Eco Drive, uh, the radio tower in Daytona makes it 100% accurate. There it is there. So I set it to the time and I wait for the second hand to come around. And then when the second hand comes around with the Seiko, I get ready and I press the button exactly when the two second hands are aligned. There we go. So it's all aligned, perfectly set. Leave it like that and then check it in the morning.